Hi there, I'm Keyshawn Haynes, and this is the Marketplace Excellence Curbin Report for Friday, March 5th, 2021. The MPE Curbin Report provides updates from around the region. The U.S. Virgin Islands is looking forward to celebrating U.S. President Biden when he next visits the Caribbean. Speaking during a press conference this week, Governor Albert Bryan Jr. said he recently connected with the American president, who assured the governor of support from the White House as the territory seeks to reboot its economy. But he wanted to me to tell you guys that he misses St. Croix and the Virgin Islands and that he especially wanted to say hello to everybody and he hopes that we are doing well. And he assured us as well that he would be sending aid and funding our ways. Um, he understands our problems here in the Virgin Islands and the fact that we haven't had cruise ships in such a long time, that he would be doing things to support us in that uh, effort. So the president, we got a friend in uh, President Biden and I asked him, please uh, return to the Virgin Islands as soon as possible um, so we can see him and, and celebrate his win in grand style. Meanwhile, the USVI is making waves with the expansion of airlift to the territory. Recent announcements of new airlift have come from Delta, Sun Country, and JetBlue. And the latest carrier to land on USVI soil is Denver-based Frontier Airlines. Frontier executives and Virgin Islands tourism and ports officials recently presided over inaugural flight activities as the destination welcomed flights from Orlando to St. Thomas. Uh, at the Orlando airport, uh, they were happy that the United States Virgin Islands is once again a destination from their airport. Uh, having conversations there, they have something like 90 destinations. The USBI uh, continues to be one of the more popular destinations, particularly in the middle of the pandemic. Frontier will add Miami St. Thomas to its schedule this month. Josephine Connolly is Turks and Caicos' new Minister of Tourism. Her appointment was made by the newly elected Premier Charles Washington Missick following the Turks and Caicos Islands general election. She will also hold the portfolios of Environment, Heritage, Maritime, Gaming and Disaster Management. The new minister looks forward to ensuring that the tourism industry not only recovers, but also surpasses its current record as one of the leading luxury destinations in the region. We caught up with her this week. Many of our citizens are working in the tourism industry. We are determined to ease the burden brought on by COVID and at the same time put measures in place to encourage travel and promote the safety and security of the islands. The region is mourning the loss of one of its legendary musicians, Bunny Whaler, the baritone singer, songwriter, and percussionist, born Neville O'Reilly Livingston, died at 73. Bunny Whaler was the last living founder of Bob Marley and the Whalers, formed in 1963. Childhood friend and co-founder Bob Marley passed away in 1981, followed by the trio's other co-founder, Peter Tosh, in 1987. Following their deaths, Bunny Whaler continued a solo career. His acclaimed album Black Heart Man is a testament to the reggae genre. Bunny Whaler received three Grammys as well as the Jamaica Order of Merit. Tributes are pouring in from across the globe. In a Women's History Month segment, we put the spotlight on a young West Indian in Canada who's making her presence known in the world of interior design. Shannon Gillian Phillips, who resides in Toronto, Ontario, is the proprietor of Gillian Clark Interiors. She recently received the Black Designers of Canada Award of Excellence. I strongly believe that more young Black women and men should pursue a career in interior design as we are so rich in culture that it naturally translates into our work, always creating bold, unexpected, unapologetic spaces, something that the industry needs more of. Phillips, whose parents are from Barbados, provides high-quality design services to both private residential clients and other interior design professionals. She blends design styles, materials, and architectural details while keeping the overall aesthetic clean and timeless. And that's our update for the week. Remember, things change, and the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has a comprehensive list of Caribbean countries and territories that are opening their borders, planning to do so soon, or are changing their COVID-19 travel protocols. So if you're planning a trip, visit caribbeanhotelandtourism.com slash COVID-19 for more details. We wish you an enjoyable weekend. Please wash your hands, maintain physical distancing, wear a mask, and stay well. I'm Kijan Haynes, and this has been the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report.